Good morning, it's Mitchell Prentice here, and today we want to look at adding and subtracting algebraic terms. Now, the first thing that we need to realize um, when we're looking at an expression is what terms we can add together, okay, or subtract from each other. And to do that, we need to work out, realize what like terms are. Okay, what are like terms? Because like terms in algebra are the only terms that we could add to, that we can add or subtract together. Okay, they're the only terms that we can add and subtract together. And what are like terms? So. If we have an expression, for example, 3x plus 5y minus 7x, whatever the expression is, we just realize that like terms have the exact same pronumerals. So that means you can add the x's together, or you can add the y's together, or you can add any expression that has the same pronumerals, the same letters or variables uh, in that expression. E.g., we get 2m, and just say we've got another expression, 3m. These two terms are like terms. So we say they're like terms. It doesn't matter about the 2 or the 3, the coefficients. All we care for is that the letters are the same. Okay, so in this one here, 2m and 3m are like terms. And that will mean that we can add them up. So, for example, therefore, we can say 2m plus 3m is equal to 2 plus 3, which is 5m. Okay, they are like terms. Um, E.g. 2, however, is if you've got, say, uh, just say I've got a squared plus 2a. Okay, so realize that this one here is, in, this is the same as 1a squared. So, yeah, I could put a 1 if you want, but we don't normally write that. But what we are getting for this is that this part, the a squared is what our pronumeral or variable is, okay? And for the second term, a is the pronumeral. So these have different, I should say, one uh, one a squared and two a, okay? One a squared and two a have different letters. I'll just write. Uh, now I'll put different pronumerals. Okay, they've got, they've both got, they're dealing with a, but they've got different letters parts. We've got an a squared, and we've got an a. So therefore, we cannot add them together. Okay, therefore, we cannot add a squared with a whatever the term is, now this one was 2a, but we can't add an a squared with an a together. It doesn't work in algebra, we just have to leave them separate. separate. Okay, uh, the final thing I just do want to point out, e.g. 3, uh, just say we've got, say, 2xy plus 5yx, Okay, I should say end 5yx. In this case here, we don't actually normally write 5yx because 5yx, 5yx is the same as 5 times y times x. And this is why we normally actually write these 
in alphabetical order. So we would say that 5 uh, yx is the same as 5 times x times y. Because when we are timesing numbers together, when we're timesing things together, it doesn't matter what order you times three numbers together. So for example, if I wanted to do 2 times 5 times 7, I could do 2 times 7, which is 14, and then 14 times 5. Or I could do 2 times 5, which is 10, and then times that by 7, which is 70. Both, both ways would give you 70. I could also do 5 times 7 is 35, and then times 2, so double it, double 35 is 70 as well. So this is actually the same as writing 5xy. Okay, so even though these look different, these are like terms. Okay, so I might move this down. Okay, so because of that, 5xy and 5y, 2xy, sorry, and 5yx are like terms. Okay, because this is what our notes will look like because this one here can go there. Okay, so they are like terms. You could add them together and get 7xy. Um, so let's have a look at some examples now. Having a few different things. So let's have a go. One. So just say I had 5g minus 3g plus 7. Okay? I get this expression, and it has three terms. It's got 5g, it's got a minus 3g term, and it's just got a 7 term. So hopefully we recognize, it's still working, hopefully we recognize that I could write these three terms in any order, but I'll leave them how they are. But this one here, this term with 5g and this term with negative 3g, they are like terms. So these are the two that I can put together. 5 take away 3 is 2. So I could straight away say that this is going to be 2g and then plus 7. Okay, so I put together these like terms just there. And I've still got plus 7. I can't do anything with that. That is our simplified answer. I've got 2g plus 7. Uh, question 2. So say I've got 7m minus 3, say, g, and then minus 2m. Okay, again, there is three terms for this expression, a 7m, a minus 3g, and a minus 2m, and what it means is I could put together this 7m and this minus 2m, because they are like terms, they have the same letters. Okay, so I'll put those together um, to give me 7m minus 2m, 7 minus 2 is 5, okay, 5m, and then I've still got a minus 3g term left that I didn't put with anything, so there's two terms, it's 5m minus 3g, you realise you will not lose marks if you wrote this as minus 3g plus 5m, okay, this is the exact same thing, okay, minus 3g plus 5m, or minus 3g plus 5m. These are the exact same thing, so I'll just put 4 there. Okay, you won't lose marks. They, these two are the same. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Three. Say I've got 6x minus 5y plus 2y. Okay. So straight away, I've got a 6x. I can't add it with the others. So I'll put that just 6x at the start. Okay. Now, I've got a minus 5y plus 2y. And the question is, does this become 
minus 7y or does this become a minus 3y? And hopefully we look at these and we realize it's like a thermometer. Okay, what we've got is a number line. So just say I put like a number line here. Okay, and I know what this number line looks like. It would say here's a 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And it's saying start off with minus 5y and then plus 2. So go up by 2. So I go 1, 2 up. Okay, so these two actually become negative 3y. Okay, minus 5y and then and then add 2. So it goes up to minus 3, goes up 2. Okay, 4. What about if I've got two negative terms? So just say I've got, let's go 7x minus 3. Uh, actually, I'll just change it from x, so it's a different letter as the previous one. So 7z minus 3a, and then minus 2z minus 5a. Okay? So this is an expression with four terms. Okay, a 7z term, a minus 3a term, a minus 2z term and a minus 5a term. But I look at these and I want to find like terms. So I can see the first set of like terms is 7z and minus 2z that I can put together. I can add them together. So 7z take away 2. 7 take away 2 is 5z. I might put the answer in blue this time. 5z. Okay, and now I have to look at my green part. I've got a minus 3a, and then I'm also taking, and I'm taking away 5a. Okay, so if I extend this number line, I, I'm at negative 3a, minus 3a, and then I take away 5. So I go down another 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I actually end up at minus 8a. Okay, some students get confused where they see like minus x minus x and they think double negative makes a plus. However, that's not the case. It's minus 2x. Okay, there's no, it's when you times things together, two negative numbers together, you get plus like negative 6 times negative 3 is plus 18, but uh, not for our addition and subtraction. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's also if you've got taking away a negative number. So if I took away negative 7, that is where I would get plus 7 as well for this. So um, as, a, as another one, okay? So let's look at 5. Um, let's find the missing number. So this is going to be find the missing terms. So I have 7x plus something minus 2y say plus something is equal to say 3x minus 9y. Okay. So I've got two missing terms right here, there and there. Okay, what are the two missing terms in this? Okay, so I want to put together my like terms. I've got 7x, just say plus my other x term has to be here, and they have to add up to be equal to 3x. Okay, so in this case here, this expression... To be equal to 3x, I'd have to go 7x, and I have to take away 4x to get me to 3x. So this expression here is minus 4x. Okay, even though there was a plus there, it's plus negative 4x. Okay, and now this one, the next one, 
for my y's, I'll change that to green. Okay, so I've got minus 2y. Okay, so I'm at minus 2, just so I'm on the, my number line, I'm at minus 2, and I want to get down to minus 9y. So I have to go I have to go down further, so I have to take away more y's, and minus 2 minus another 7 is going to get me to minus 9y. So this expression here is actually that term had to be minus 7y for that one. Uh, if I had one with a negative symbol, so just say I've got 3 3 a minus something has to equal to maybe negative 5a. Okay. I'd have to work out what is this term that makes it true? What is ex exact expression expression in here? So this exact, exact term in here that makes it so 3a minus it is equal to negative 5a. Okay, so I look at my number line. Okay, I'm currently at 3a, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It should be to scale, but I didn't put that to scale very well. And I want to get down to negative 5. So I'm up here, and I want to get down all the way down to negative 1, negative 2. That's a negative 1, I just didn't work well negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, okay? So I want to get down to there. I, I wish I made this scale so the 2 was there and then the 3 was in the middle, but that's okay. Um, so I go, I have to take away how many A's? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have to take away 8 A. Okay, so 3 A take away 8a got me to negative 5a uh, for that expression there. Okay, I might just do one harder one, um, actually two, two of them. Uh, this is now question 6. Sorry, that's I wanted to do 7. So question 6. Um, I haven't talked about one with um, an a squared b. So just so I have two a squared b's plus um, 5ab minus a squared b. Okay, these look like they're a lot more confusing. However, I just wanted you to realize, you know, which of these are like terms. So there's three terms here. Okay, and which ones are like terms? So have the exact same letters okay and for this the the first term is to um, a squared b so a times a times b whereas this middle term is just a times b these are actually different you could not add these first two terms okay the next one is a squared b a times a times b so therefore it's this term and this term that I can add together that have the same letters. Okay, so that one there means I can add this together. Two a squared b's, take away an a squared b, so I'm left with one a squared b. I don't need to write the one. And I've still got a plus five a b. That's the bell going, so I might leave it to there. Um, I hope this is helpful.